Aloha, everyone. Aloha. The name is Io Kiaka. I invoke the right of the kingdom law as a subject and as a royal guard. I do not answer to anybody outside of that. I am appalled by the continued actions and desecration of Hawaii and Kanaka from all Hawaii and the few Kanaka that sit on the fence to continually destroy Hawaii's historical and cultural values for the interest of financial gain and benefit and disregard the host culture's traditional and customary rights and cultural practices. The question we must ask ourselves as people, what will we have done for Kanaka and people seven generations after seven generations thereafter and seven generations after? That our children's children, children, 450 years from now, we would do well to remember the legacy is not just what we have been given, but what we have given or leave behind. Uamau, ekea o kaina ikapono. It is not the life of the land. Again, I say it is not the life of the land. The real translation is the sovereignty of the land is perpetuated in righteousness. Kamehameha the third gave his kingdom to God. I don't see none of you as God. I don't see the state, city, and county as being God. Who are you to chastise these people? You make money off of their land, off of the Kanaka. 50% of it should go to the Kanaka. No, no, no. and how does the park, A, tell the story of the place, but also what are we going to do today or in the next five years that will be remembered in 450 years? Is there a moment here where we can think about this, not necessarily in terms of planter boxes, but what are we going to do that will set up the conversation for many generations? 